Recording. Welcome back to the Playing Possum Podcast. We, we are with our hosts, the Mark, the Myth, the Legend, Mr. GH2. We have the father figure. We have DJ Be Silly with his long ass intro that we're not going to repeat. But we have two, we have two others that are joining us for the first time that are going to be our regulars for this group of five. <clears throat> Why don't you go and introduce yourselves? Me, I am Dad Box, Dad Bod Jack, Bacon Stack. Always got a comeback. Raul says ketchup included on the Discord server. <laughs> When you have kids, you can do shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a nickname, but there's a new word with you, aka DHD, in the house. I get better. Once he grabs his microphone and takes it out of his throat. Anyway, <laughs> we're starting off today. We got quite an agenda from the looks of it. We've had quite a last couple of days in the world of wrestling. Let's start off with Raw. What a show that was. Hey, I'm back. I was ordering food. <laughs> We're all good, man. Time to talk about time to talk about Raw, man. Raw? Uh Cody Rose got his ass And then Jay Uber got his ass. Yep. Oh yeah. We had We had some uh some deja vu happening on Raw. With Cody Rhodes counting the light for like the second time since he's been back, if that. You know, he, yes, this is the second time losing. Taking a pin, taking a pin. Yeah, he's been doing that. that dusty ass black hoodie for the past two years now. He doesn't I, need it no more. I'm, we know it's you. Yeah, I'm, I hope I hope he's washed that since then. I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know it's I know it's no crazy in there. How do you know how do you know if it's dusty? You don't wash it. You don't wash it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, but um, yeah. And like we all know it's in it's so why are you hiding the He's probably smell like old he's probably smell like old spice and athletic tape. Yeah. People probably for Scott is like <laughs> he would probably forgot what his actual theme song sounds like because all he does is pop up with the hoodie. His theme song is lit too. We'll, uh, no, we'll get to that later, though. Like we'll get to that later, yeah, though. We got some other yeah, stuff to talk about. What else happened to Raw? We had we had a stat uh, card in Raw. Uh, all the women for the Elimination yeah, Chamber. Uh, there was a. Uh, uh, last chance battle royal, and people yeah. were expecting Jay Cargo to come out, but no, we got Miss Eczema. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong for that. Wow. You're wrong for that. I also have Eczema, so I, I understand. Okay. Um, yeah, she came out and she won the battle royal. So congrats to her. Sorry, Chelsea Green. You'll get another shot. It's not. Good. You gotta say her name correctly at least the first time. Oh. I respect that. I'm not, I'm not. But the biggest thing of the night, Jimmy Uso costing Jay a title shot yet again. Bringing the bell into JBL. <laughs> uh, that's the what the third time in the last year that Jimmy has cost Jay a championship. Pretty much. Actually, a fun fact: Jay Uso would have been a Grand Slam champion if it wasn't for. Jimmy. Right. something about that. That's that's actually really funny. <laughs> that is insane. In the other Discord server that I'm in, someone posted that uh, Jimmy Uso also cost him the titles two times um, during in 2020 during the pandemic. In the he did. Match, he did. The throwing yeah. the towel. That, that's right. That, he did do that. Yeah, so he's just, he's just a barbiturate hater. That's that's, yeah. that's 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 five costed that's five costed championship matches in less than five years. Two in twenty twenty, three in the last year, calendar wise. SummerSlam, said, a rain with SmackDown, said, and, and, with and Monday. <laughs> he said, if you're not winning with me, you're not winning. So you a tag team cha- you you a tag team wrestler, 
like no like to steal a word from his cousin, know your role. You a tag team wrestler. That's all you ever be. <laughs> I think we may have finalists for hater of the year, Jimmy Oh yeah, he's probably number one. Hey man, Drew is Drew is right up there too. Drew is a relic. Drew is a relic. Drew about the cool Kanye moment. Like, uh, I'm really happy for you, Jimmy, but I just want to say this is my award. I should have won this shit. Y'all know I've been putting in work with my new t shirt. That man is a relic. He, he ain't no hater. He's keeping it real. One final note on Raw Chad Gable defeated Ivar to finally finish that story. Where did we go from? This? From here with Chad Gable because he uh, definitely deserves a championship. It seems like Gunther is not facing Braun Breaker for the IC title, so Gable can face him this time again. Um, and this time, I believe Gable will go over. I will be seated for that. This revolution will be televised. I see. Uh, I see. I will uh, be at Mania today. I seen online that. Uh, we may have somebody bring it, an old face coming back for Von Gunther, Sheamus. May we may have Sheamus did, coming back to finish his story. We ain't seen Sheamus since LA Knight threw him out the out the ring at SummerSlam. Where has he been? I think uh, he's been the injured. Really? There's the matches between Sheamus and Gunther. Banger after, after banger, banger, banger after banger after banger, <laughs> after banger. <laughs> hold on a minute player we forgot about one more thing that happened on on raw finally saw the unification of ufc and wwe is something that no I one gonna fuck about that we moving on no 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 we did they recently brought it up we gotta talk about it <laughs> yeah mike we got a phone call about mcgregor so i'm wondering what they're gonna do with that like that, that was interesting i was like that was not in my bingo cards and that was something that even the ufc fans probably never thought they'd see is a ufc they're gonna have thrown out a wwe uh, another ufc I'm, player I, I'm, raw. I, I'm gonna be drew mcintyre this episode they're gonna have a trash match in a wwe ring i don't want to see that i'm good we don't want a repeat of Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. I think we all agree on that, right? Oh, yeah. We don't need a repeat of that. The MMA rules match and the WWE ring makes no sense. Yeah. You're playing you know? bitch for that, too. He, he loves his UFC, too. And I'm like, bro, just just go go work for UFC, man. Like, what, what you doing here for? Yeah. You want to watch him real fight? Yeah. And then for oh, NXT... <laughs> This is CKO, you know, flexing their muscles, too. Yeah, true. Now, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't do this sooner. Like, right after the merger was finalized and stuff like that, that we didn't have more UFC, WWE crossover. Like, I felt that was just, like, they were pretty, I felt they were, like, going to hand fist that in. Just be like, hey, we're the same company now. We can do sort of a crossover whenever we want to. But now you're going to call out somebody at a WWE event to fight you at UFC when he ain't even there. He probably just, you know, Conor McGregor's on home tripping. Like, I thought when he was talking about Iris, I'm like, is he talking about Sheamus? He's coming back? I thought he was announcing Sheamus' return. Like, no, I don't want to fight Conor McGregor. Oh. Okay. Bro, I would cry of laughter if this turns into, like, an invasion storyline where the UFC guys try to come in. <laughs> they would go over, too. Honestly. Oh, oh yeah. And I don't want it. But you know, the funny thing is, as crazy as that was, as much as we we weren't a big, I'm sure none of us, not much of us were big fans. Did you hear the pop it got? Yeah. I, I was like, I was just shocked. Cause I thought it was something that we'd never see. But then it was also like they've tried this, this and error uh, unknown, mm. and so it's like. You tried this twice already. Not to mention the brawl for all. Home after that. So it's like you can't. You can't like you're beating a dead horse at this point. Yeah. All right. So we move on to NXT. Hold on. Hold on. You, you got more? Got one thing. There was another promo on the card. 
Oh, not the yet. Woman, the woman of the Elimination Chamber came out to talk shit to one another. And I saw a lot of comments. Big ass got out there and beat everybody up. Yep. I don't care about that woman. She's going to lose. We know she's going to lose. Yeah. What 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 got me a little upset, right? As a hater, is all the Liv Morgan fans craving for her to somehow get in this match or somehow win the the elimination chain. What the fuck? Something for off. I do not think that she should win. No. I also think that if she does get into the match. She's pulling a Daniel Bryan. Or Brian Davis. And I don't know. Uh, hell no. I get what you're saying, you know, uh, uh, I there, there was so many comments saying, oh yeah, fuck Becky. Uh, she's whack. She's the same old, same old. We just had a title. Liv just had a title reign that was probably... One of, if not the worst title reign of the last maybe three years. Yeah. Fabulous. I don't think that's entirely her fault either. But that's that was pretty bad. Because they, they, they booked her into a corner by just having her face around it. Right. Basically. And. and she's right now with the money in the bank briefcase, which she had it like almost the whole year. Come on, Liv. What about? They've had it for all of like two hours. They've had it for like two, like, no, not even that. Not even two hours. Like an hour. Like, it wasn't even that long. But yeah, she, I don't think, uh, as an as a avid hater, I don't think she should be winning this match. Now, actually, I actually have some frustrations about that too, because they've been booking mm-hmm. Nia Jax like a monster right just to come back and then they have uh they make her debut and toss her out of the rumble like she's nothing right mm-hmm. and then they do nothing with her except one backstage segment i'm like hello who are, are you talking about <coughs> who are you talking about come on jade come yeah, on jade. Jade. Yeah. like they're, well, they're not jade is a big listen jade is gonna face bianca that's just i, I think that's obvious mm-hmm. in, in a way mm-hmm. um it's the, the season it's either gonna be jade and bianca or jade and nail it, it's one of the two and it's not because it's a race thing because it is a race thing so we'll, we'll see what happens but we'll with, with, happens. with jade i can understand her not being in the chamber because she ain't do nothing but be in the royal rumble Right. You could yeah. lose the Royal Rumble. That's you could fun. you could lose the Royal Rumble. If you if you take a pinfall at the elimination chamber, because we know we know you're not like the only way you would we would have you in there is if you're going to go over. And if you go over, then you're gonna have to either beat Rhea Ripley for a championship, which you just got here, like get the line, or you're gonna lose to Rhea Ripley, which would be a great match but would do nothing for her. You think you think WWE is trying to be careful with Cargill? Yes. Yeah. Very. Yeah, they're trying to be very secure with her, and it, that's a good thing because the way she was booked in AEW was not pretty. That was not good. I, I'm yeah. gonna be real honest. You know, you have someone have a dominant streak like that and really not give them any competition. Yeah. It, it, she won't improve as much as you know they want her. And they, they kept giving her the same opponents, and you're just like, bro, like, give her someone new. Like, give her someone, like, that would, that you'd be like, okay, this one, like, the, the first time they actually, it actually looked like a real fight, a good challenge for her, was Nala Rose, and that was when it was near the end of her title reign. I'm like, yo, it took you guys this long to finally that bring something. Bad. Yeah. That match was bad. I saw that oh, match live. That match is really bad. Oh, um, that match is that match is awful. I mean, come oh. on. Even by woman division standards, that was awful. That match was just. And, and yeah. you know, credit to Jay because I believe that she actually did it. 
from yeah. her last AEW match to the Royal Rumble. And, you know, they, it, you could tell they're putting in the time and the effort to make her better. So I, I appreciate that from, you know, the performance center. I think this is triple. I think this is Triple H's message to Tony Khan. This is how you build your women's division. Oh yeah. So well, speaking of that, we, we probably should talk about uh, IWC once again, rolling another person again, and it, it fired back at them. Dude, and he's one of my favorite rappers too. Why are you coming at Ice Cube? And like in his son, not come, but they were just coming at his son. Yeah, no, no, but, no, but they, someone, they someone tagged him, someone then, at him on Twitter and yeah. said, "I wish you would have pulled out." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, they're <laughs> upset oh, over man. someone's opinion over right. wrestling and how they enjoy mainly WWE content. Right. What is the problem with that? Ice Cube even made a song called "I Ain't the One," like. Really? We gonna do this route? <laughs> Are you gonna bring him out of retirement? <laughs> but at the, at the same time, it's like, he he could watch whatever he wants to watch. That's every wrestling fan. Every wrestling fan can watch whatever they want. Mm-hmm. want. Yeah. But the problem is, is that these people like to get upset when someone says or someone does not watch the content that they watch. Like, for example, if they one of my favorite if, if if I watch one of my favorite YouTubers, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna ask the other four people in this panel to watch that YouTuber as well. If they and if they like the content or not. And then if they don't, why would I get mad at them? That's not their cup of tea. O'Shea has his own cup of tea. People have to understand that. And that's not just with O'Shea, but that's with everybody else in the wrestling community. Everybody has their own cup of tea. You can't get mad if they have an opinion about what they watch. No, but he he, he actually, I was watching the interview, he made a great point too. He's like, you know, uh, um, like when you're watching like UFC uh, or, or whatever, they all, the announcers like always give like a background of a fighter before they come out. They'll be like, alright, this person is like undefeated in jiu-jitsu and mma like he he's making his debut like this is why you should care like this person trained in so-so dojo and then it's like and then you're like okay this is why he's here so then then that's when you pick your sides where it's like tony khan brings over some guys from new japan for wrestling that maybe not a, a lot of us are familiar with and we're expected to be like, oh my god, no way! Like he pulled the hat, a rabbit out of a hat for this one. Exactly. All right, we got to move on. NXT, yeah. the taped episode from yeah, two weeks uh, ago. Lack, the lack of introduction episode right into the mat, right into the North American title match. Yep. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know that happened. What? <laughs> All right, so here's the card. What even happened? Here's the card. So we started off with Obafemi versus Lexus King for the North American Championship. Obafemi retained. Yes, Obafemi retained. Then they are continuing with this romance storyline between Thea Hale and Riley Osborne, where apparently, apparently, well, I mean, there's there's no problem with it, but apparently the the fallout is not going well for Thea Hale because she was playing too hard to get, which. Yeah, I understand. Um, but there was this just like Wait, awkward thing or whatever. Wait a minute. So they're doing the a uh, you said a romance storyline. Why does that sound like a lesbian story? No. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a lesbian story. You gotta let them be what they want to be. I was, I was saying yeah, Thea Hale and Riley story. Osborne. I may have to. I may have to, t- I may have to tune in more in depth of this storyline. But yeah, for it, my own personal reasons. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I said Thea Hale and Riley Osborne. Who do you think I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm confused. Yeah, hold on. My bad. My bad. Play. I'm confusing one and the other. My bad. Riley Osborne from Chase you know, U. I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'm still tuning into it. I'm still see. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just leave that there. Like, oh, this, I just wow. the meme. 
from like the backstage segments and all that, I'm just like, yo, all right. I tune out of so that. So who's gonna drop the tr lunch tray on her head and be like, what's she gonna do about it? And I'm like, but there, but there's, that, but, uh, but the whole thing is that they're sowing, they're sowing some, <laughs> they're sowing some dissension between J.C. Jane and Thea Hale, like that's the whole thing is that J she's taking J.C. Jane's advice probably too literally, but then I don't even know who this one is, but um, they set up a match between uh, J.C. Jane and Ariana Grace, which they ended up having a match later on. Uh. Tatum and Tatum Paxley and Lyra Valkyria had a discussion about Lyra Valkyria's match later that night. They say in the back, I don't need you out there. Um, and then the the Wolf Dogs, which love the name, keep it, don't ruin it. Please don't. Uh, Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin were in uh, were in the ring celebrating the Dusty Cup uh, victory as well as their tag team championship victory when they were interrupted by. Um, they were interrupted by Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, who were saying the family promised them a tag team championship match, and they jumped to the front of the line, and now we should uh, we are entitled to a match. To where Nathan Fraser uh, hit hit everybody with the Seth Rollins. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. <laughs> That was a nice. That was a nice throwback to that. That was a nice running back with that moment. That yeah, nice he, he, literally, he literally did the same thing. Like it yeah, was word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> he in action came out and was like, "Nah, we're not gonna do this." So now, the 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 three teams are in there. Ava come out and say, "We're gonna have a match between Chase U and Fraser and Axiom next week for the number one contendership." Uh, to the tag team championships, and then the Good Brothers, those useless, those useless fools, came out and attacked both of them. Out of them, which is a great thing because they could stay in NXT and actually do things. Right, and which then is why I think NXT <laughs> is not a developmental brand; it's actually just the third. Right? I agree. Then we had Roxanne Perez versus Ren Sinclair, um, a match that was. Uh, Set up the previous week in a backstage segment where Roxanne slapped the shit out of Ren Sinclair. <laughs> um, evil, evil Roxanne heel turn confirmed. Almost. Yeah, Roxanne oh, yeah. went for Pop Rocks. Yeah, it eventually is. Yeah, it eventually is. Confirmed. Yeah, Roxanne hit Pop Rocks and at two broke the pin herself and then put Ren Sinclair in the submission hold. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. You know what it is. It was a crossface. Exactly. But the crippler. Let me not say it. Let me not get us redacted. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, a, they've been bringing it back a lot lately. JD's just a lot of people have been doing that. The crossface yeah, looks like, like the most devastating submission yeah. in the industry, and it looks so yeah. believable. It's jujitsu. That's one of my favorite submission moves to use. The third match I was think it's uh, because they they are actually acknowledging. That person who made that move famous, but they don't want to like you know mm -hmm. say his name. Have the obvious, right? But they they're doing it. Those who know, I, no. I, Those who know, no. <laughs> yes, I like if you that. know, wink, wink. You know. Third match is you know, Brooks. You know. Third match was Brooks Jensen versus Josh Briggs, set up by a backstage segment of the previous week. Uh, Josh Briggs won via pinfall in this whole tough love storyline. Basically, that's says the whole the, the whole trio best. between them two and uh, Fallon Henley separated. Um, they had a backstage segment with Joe Gacy is locked in, is imprisoned by Dijak in the straight jacket. Like they got him in this like weird insane asylum room, and uh, can't remember his name. The the lawyer yeah. dude. Are still I still call him T Bar. Um. Taglioso or something like that. The the lawyer yeah, was like, "You can't keep him in here. This is false imprisonment." He's like, "Get lost, dude." Um, Carmelo Hayes, hating ass, cut the promo, basically saying that, um, you know, Trick should be like basically saying to Trick Williams that I got you before you got me because it was only a matter of time before you're gonna take my spot. So I had to get you first. That was that was basically that. That was pretty good, though, for it. like. You have like a little bit more 
reason as to why he's doing what he's doing. Exactly. And that's why he's a hater. More the story more uh, interesting too. Yep. Um, he also cut a tr- he also cut a promo on Ilya Dragunov in that same segment, basically saying, you know, um, Ilya, if you want to see me, get in line because if you ain't talk about the NXT Championship, there's something to talk about. More on that later. The next match yes. was J.C. Jane with Thea Hale and Jasmine Nix, whom I've never seen in wrestling ring before, but she's basically coming in as a third wheel to the uh, whole yo. thing versus Ariana Grace. Yeah. Yo. Yo. I, I, I don't know who that is, but she needs to stay on the screen. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> but ja- it, it's looking like Jasmine Nix is going to replace, quote unquote, uh, Thea Hale in sort of like a friendship bestie sort of situation. Because Jasmine Nix just got added to Chase You during the whole um, like calendar campaign to to uh, re- to revive Chase You. Mm-hmm. So with some. With some body language and some reactions, like the whole point, the whole point of the match was J.C. Jane was trying to set up a an interference angle by getting the ref to like by distracting the ref and asking Thea Hale to attack Ariana Grace at ringside, and Thea Hale was hesitating. She was like, "What? Wait, we want to do what?" And Jasmine just was like, "Move out the way, hit her, hit her in the back of the head, threw her back in the ring," which set up J.C. Jane's uh, finisher for the win. Uh, Backstage, we had a promo with the uh, with the family, basically saying, you know, um, it's time for it's time for Tony D'Angelo to be the Don again and take things seriously. Uh, Rich Holland had another interview, uh, talking about when he hit when he soloed Gallus with a chair, took all three of them out at the same time. Uh, yeah. Then oh, actually, I take do that you, back. Do you feel bad? Do you feel bad for him, or do you like, man, eh, whatever? Do you feel bad for Rich Holland? I mean, I I felt bad for him when Big E got hurt. I felt bad for him when Elton Prince or Kate Wilson, whatever one, whatever one of Pretty Deadly got hurt, because those were legitimate injuries. But now that they've turned this into a storyline, no, I don't feel bad anymore. Nah. I take that back. What I said about Axum and Frazier versus Chase U, because that actually was a match later on later on that evening, where uh. Chase U won the match and then got attacked by the Good Brothers. That's what happened. Um, Oh, you're dragging up and cut a promo. What's that? Good Brothers to NXT confirmed, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they they cut a promo later on the night, basically saying they're here to stay. Uh, Oh, you're dragging off, cut a promo with with those red demon eyes. Have y'all seen that Key and Peele sketch I put in Discord? I no, no. I when y'all get a chance, I, I'm, a, I'm a, I saw one. I saw one that was related to Nikola Jokic and uh, Luka Doncic last weekend, but I didn't see this. Hold on, because someone was saying that every time um, Oh You Dragon out cut the promo, it reminds him of that Key and Peele sketch where one of them was taking it way too seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm like find that. it. I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna link it to Discord. Y'all watch that later. I'll guarantee y'all will be on the floor laughing. Only a dragon, though. I can't wait till he goes to Raw. I think I think he's gonna go to Raw. I can't wait for that. He needs to go to Raw and immediately pick up where he left off with uh, with Gunther. If there if there even is any unfinished business between the two of them. Yeah, they they need that. They need to go back to that chop fest. And let's chop see how it's going. I need to see how dramatic a skinnier Gunther will be for Dragon Ball. Don't be awesome. All right. Um, I actually link. I, I, I copied the link. It'll be. I'll put it in the Discord after we get out. After we get out of here. Uh, the next thing on NXT was a match between Last Legend and Kalani Jordan. Last Legend won that match. Nothing too big. Um, nothing too crazy about that. Uh, then the the final match of the night, the main event. Lauer Valkyria versus Shotzi, where we found it, we finally found out how Shotzi tore her ACL. Um, yeah. It was such a oh. random move. It was she was performing a DDT on the apron, but her landing was supposed to be at ringside. As soon as she landed, immediately grabbed her knee. Just uh, that shit just popped off. Yeah. No one likes that shit. 
of like real shit. Um, everyone prays up for her because that it, it was even hard to watch, even though NXT was pre taped. Mm -hmm. It was still just like oh. that's, yeah, that's, a, that's the thing you knew it was pre taped, but it was like when you look at it, you're like, oh my god, man, shit. Yeah, yeah. Play, play Shotzi, you know, yeah. she's been dealing with a lot of injuries and yeah, her personal like, life has been, has been up and down, and, and all this other stuff that you know she's been going through. So, praise up for her. And you know, yeah. I, um, I saw on her social media, she said she's gonna be out for nine months. Yep. Nine, nine months. months, so that's that's pretty much. I, I, so I she's gonna, she gonna miss Survivor Rumble. Series. She, yeah, yeah. It's a Royal Rumble, I think. No, that would be the earliest she could come back if she was gonna make a return uh, to the PLE. Yeah. It'd be a stretch for Survivor also, Series. Charlotte is actually on track, and she she's ahead of schedule. She may come back quicker. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, of course, she's, said Charlotte. I, yeah. she's a flair. They're like, oh, let's get her the best doctors out here. She can afford it. Oh uh, yeah, it's called pay. Yeah, <laughs> the pay. but that wasn't the last of the night because um, it was at the ten o'clock mark when they came back for commercials. Like right when she went down, they went to commercial in a picture in picture sort of thing, and then they showed her being walked to the back by medical professionals. Ava came out and said it's an open challenge um, for the I championship, like and then Last Legend came out and answered the open challenge. What was funny was. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the match, they they show Roxanne Perez in the back watching the match. Like, hold up, how did Lyra Valkyrie get a match? They had an open challenge and she accepted. God damn it! I go take a shower and this is this shit's going on. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but can we give? I was saying this earlier, and uh, can we give credit to Lash Legend and Lyra Valkyrie? From yeah. All the match, yeah. Claps up to that. On the fly. Yeah, claps up to that. Yeah. That that was that was that was a that was a passable match given the circumstances. That was um, yeah. the finish of it wasn't too super spectacular, but at the same time, it wasn't you know it was something they had to improv improvise for like another seven minutes. And that was NXT. They they did set up uh, Carmelo Hayes and Ilya Dragunov are going to have a face off. Next, uh, next Tuesday to build up for NXT Roadblock. That's when Trick comes back. Uh, yeah. Yep. Trick Willing. Who's excited for Trick Willing? Yeah. Hey. Do we want to be able What's the NXT? What's that? You saw, what's the NXT what? The NXT Mania paper PLE name. Uh, stand and deliver. Yeah, stand and deliver. That that won't be till April though. So we, I think Roadblock is their uh, like mini PLE. I think that's the next one. When is the next? Yeah, just some, just some ran, random random Sunday in March. Uh, NXT are NXT PLEs on Sundays now? I think they are. I think they give the the talent two days to get back since it's on a Tuesday. My laptop is real slow right now. This is not the time. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on over there? You glitching? No, I'm not glitching. glitching? I'm right. um, I was about to say, it's not good, buddy. But yeah, um, yeah, Alex, we give out, you know, our full reviews on on the weekend, Sunday. Of course. Um, so, uh, what's next on the agenda? Hold on, let me hold on. Um, it is dynamite predictions for tonight. Oh. Yes. Before we go any further, let's do a quick shout out to our sponsor for today's stream. We do not have any sponsors. We do not have any sponsors. We do not have any sponsors. Don't go from that. You guys are wrestling with us. Um, you guys got to be a fans of Dark Side of the Ring. And, um, That's not a sponsor? We don't have a sponsor. I'm. I. I tell you right now. If Dark Side, if Vice hears this, and we, and they say we're sponsored, we will get in trouble. Stop. <laughs> What's on March fifth? Uh, premiere is March fifth, season five. He and he, he legit ignored you. Crazy. Go ahead and just mute you. We're not about to continue with Yo, this right Greek. now. <laughs> Yo, Greek. 
We do not have a sponsor. <laughs> what are you doing? No, don't try. Anyways, for the dynamite tonight, there is could, this really. This, I think you could promote it, just word it a little differently. Don't call them our sponsor yet. <laughs> we don't have a sponsorship. We just started this. Yeah, no. Supposedly, there is only four things on a dynamite card for me. Um, Deanna Perrazzo will be in action. Uh, Tony Storm will be in action. Uh, two members of the B... I almost said BBC. Uh, two members of the BCC, John Moxley and Claudio Casanova versus FTR in a rehashed match, because we've seen that before. And... We won it again, um, I don't. I don't like FTR. Uh, Samoa Joe, Swear Strickland, and Brian Cage versus Hook, Hangman, Adam Page, and RVD. Two hours to have four matches, guys. You know what that so, means? Packages galore, promos galore. You watch. Packages and promos galore. Nah, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any promos. That's the go-home show formula. We're not doing the go-home show for AEW, are we? Really? No. I'm legitimately asking. I don't watch AEW. <laughs> Say that again, DHB? Uh, I heard you slightly say something. It's all good. I, 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 you're not missing it. <laughs> Hold on. Let DHB talk. What happened, DHB? I think it's my problem. You say you don't watch? I can, I can like, slightly hear him. I'm in the... I'm, so, hold on. Let me increase his microphone volume on my end. Why is my door dasher doing that? <laughs> um, hold on. Let me... Let me let me tell you why. All right, speak again. I said I don't watch it. Oh, you don't watch it. Oh, okay, good job. That, that's good for you because I want to watch it either, but I have to. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it, it's it's four matches on the card. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think Revolution is like March 6th. Yeah, already. Already. Uh, March 3rd, and uh, this is not their go-home show, because their go-home show would be collision, and like... Yeah, yeah March 3rd Their go-home show Next would Sunday. be March... March... Their go-home show would be... What is it? March 2nd. March... March yeah, March... Well, fe- it's March... What is their show again? March 3rd. So March 2nd is their go-home show. So actually, their go-home show will be next week. Yeah. Yeah, next. Yeah. Um, are y'all excited to see Mercedes in an AEW ring so? Yes! I know so much there's a huge Mercedes fan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right. All right, Todd, we need to know. We need, we need to know. Right here, right now. Why do you question. not like Mercedes Monet? I need to know. Why do, I, I think that she is just overrated. Overrated. Now, this yeah. is coming for someone who missed her entire run at Sasha Banks. Right? <laughs> I missed her entire run. That's when I, I wasn't watching. I'm well aware of what she accomplished while in WWE, but I was not watching on a week to week basis to actually, you know, assess her for my entertainment. Okay. I, she's, she's, I mean, she's the weakest of the four horsewomen, in my opinion. Wow. Uh, she. Weekend in Charlotte? Charlotte actually has in ring skill. <laughs> That's what I would say. Also has the last uh, name. It's not the last name. It's actual, it's actual skill. skill. Besides the Mist Moon songs. Besides that, mm-hmm. Charlotte has skill. Uh, Mercedes? She got exposed in New Japan, and her new DDT "I Want to Be Eddie Guerrero" finisher is just ass. And she's also, from what I know, pretty horrible with the fans. And when you're pretty horrible with the fans, I can't get behind you. I can't. I can't get behind someone like that. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's crazy fans, but if, if there's people that's out there that actually genuinely like 
like you and like on tour with you and enjoy your your content and enjoy what you bring to the ring and enjoy what you bring to their lives and you sit there and just like basically be mean to them and be disrespectful same reason why I don't like Ariana Grande she's a bitch <laughs> and, <laughs> this took a turn and I, yeah, I, this, this I, just I, went off the rails that's genuinely what I think of Mercedes I think she is good but there's a lot of people who overrate her and I can't get behind that either. What? So, yeah, that's how I feel about John Moxley too. I feel like he also got exposed that he's the weaker out of the Shield members. Like Roman, he's clearly found his element. Seth, he continues to reinvent himself. Moxley, he just wants to go out there and bleed to death and and continue the same song and match, but they book him the way they booked like Hogan or John Cena or Shawn Michaels in the nineties or like because whenever something goes wrong in AEW, they always go back to Moxley to go save the day. I'm like, bro, let him go on vacation. Let him heal up. Let him take time off. Let people miss him a bit. Because right now He's get off my screen energy for me. Yeah, it's, it's go away heat. Like get out of here, heat. Not yeah. we, not, yeah, he does he, he, he does not we miss you, heat. Yeah. yeah. Is that, he even a heel? That's my question. Uh, that that's my thing. I I, I stop even caring oh. at this point for him. I'm just like, dude, what what who who, who pissed you off this time? A W Rosser. Where, where's the agent? <laughs> I don't even think he's a heel. I think he's a tweener. But if he has go away he to you, then that's yeah coming from you. Yeah, and I watch AEW too. I watch him a little bit more than maybe it's probably you guys. But yeah, and that. But the thing is, for WWE, for me, the, the only reason why I don't like Solo, it's it's not on him. It's his booking. He packed up Cena right. And then they did nothing. He's he hasn't. He hasn't won a match since Crown yeah. Jewel. Was it Crown yeah, Jewel? If they build, if they build yeah, up with that, if they build up with that, have them like take out guys left and right in like matches and actually win, I'd be like, okay, yeah, take him seriously. But he's like, he's he's only only twenty nine, right? Right? And I mean, he, that's, that, that's, that's, and this that is including that TV. Is, that's booking. That's booking's fault too. Yeah. You yeah, have guys like had... Akira Tozawa. You can give him another L. Nobody really cares. Right. You just yeah. got to keep this guy looking strong. You got to keep yeah, this guy looking like yeah. Roman's. You know, his bodyguard. You got to keep yeah. looking. So what? You throw him in there. A W is a W at this point. Yeah. Because I'm kind of looking at it like I'm. I'm... I was scared when they put LA Knight in the title match against Roman, but they've been doing pretty good at protecting him, keeping him strong, not really in, uh, like, screwing finishes for both. But, I mean, that's all Roman's matches in the past three, four years. But, um, anyways, that's pretty much what um, my thing is with Solo. Like, once he breaks out of the bloodline and goes on his own, I'll be like, okay, let's see what you got. Like, let it make your own identity. Like, obviously you emulate Umaga, but Umaga stood on business. Mm-hmm. You got to stand on business. Uh, David Bull is a heel. Yeah. How is he? A, so, Moxley is a heel right now, and it doesn't even feel like it. But, yeah. So, wait. Hold on. CML, CMLL attacked him. So their faces? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I actually like Claudio. I actually don't mind Claudio. Actually, I, I love his rivalry with Claudio Teddy Kingston. That was one of my favorite rivalries um, of 2023 for AEW. Yeah, I, I, just need Orange, I just need Orange Cassidy to leave. That's it. He, he needs to leave. He needs to get out of there. Diana, I don't know. I, I don't know why you went there, Diana. I don't know why. Uh, Buddy Matthews and 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 
and my boy fucking Malachi Black. Yeah, get out of this. Uh, the ladies Ricky are waiting Marks, for him in WWE Ricky anyway. Ricky Starks, Ricky Starks, get out of this. Just, just do what you gotta do. Too man, I feel bad for him. And it's like everyone Cody's brought in, they've just did nothing with them. I wonder why. I leave and find something better. You know, you know what? WWE. You know, I, I, was gonna, I was just gonna say that Malachi, buddy. You know, you got better booking, better booking opportunities at WWE. Yeah. Hey, look, buddy, you could throw it right in the storyline with Dominic Mysterio. Boom, right off the bat. There's your first story. There it is. There it is. There oh, it is. dude, dude. Jeremy would go crazy for that one. He would be in Buddy Matthews' corner. I'm like, kill him this time. <laughs> like, actually kill him. WrestleMania Get involved 41. Involved Seth Rollins in there. Be... WrestleMania 41. Dominic Mysterio versus Buddy Matthews. Mommy on a pole match. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were going with that. And I was just like, please don't go there. Please don't say a poll. Just... And the way that match should end is that Rhea Ripley should rip tie both of them and walk out the ring. That's the way that match should end. Okay. You know how many fans would watch that just to be down bad? Like, that was... <laughs> they would be like, oh, Rhea's on a poll, guys. Look at her. The internet would, ex- would implode immediately just at the concept of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where have we gone? We gotta move on from this. Oh. Alright. I put on this agenda wanna, for theme song discussion. I wanna run I, w- I just wanna run back on the Mercedes Sasha Banks I, um thing. Yeah. I think but what what I think the diff the big difference between a Sasha Banks and a Becky Lynch, Becky actually connects with her fans. Mm-hmm. She could be a heel. She could be this. The fans are going to still ride with her no matter what. They tried turning Becky heel what last year, right. two years ago, and failed. Was Big right. Tom was Big Tom Bex considered a heel? Was that her I heel? Think, I think according to the roster at that time, she was supposed to be heel. It didn't feel like it. No, it honestly didn't because you know what. The other thing is, she also kind of predicted how the fans would turn on Liv Morgan too, when um, they made her champion. She's like, uh, "You want to see her champion, right? Right?" And then she's like, "No, you don't, because once she wins it, you guys are going to turn on her in a few months, and because you guys are fickle and you guys don't know what you want." And I'm like, "Dude, spitting, spitting, spitting." Yeah, everybody's like, oh, everybody's taking the Daniel you? Daniel Bryant straight to heart. Right, and I don't like, think did, I don't think they're entirely wrong. I don't think they're entirely wrong. Why did the heel spit the most back sometimes? I, I just want to know. Makes them believable. Yeah. Makes them the most believable. That's all I can say about that. And that's why, arguably, I always felt more drawn to watching the heel cheering on the heels because I'm like. Their story's a little bit more compelling, and you're just like, oh, what's he doing now? What's he going to do now to get more hate? Mm-hmm. You want to you want to get hate? Just spit some facts. Nobody yeah. likes facts. Not many people like facts anyway. Pretty much, yeah. All right, on to the fun stuff. I want to preface okay. this, this discussion with one thing I saw following the Royal Rumble is that a lot, or at least what people were saying is that the lack of reactions to when people's numbers got called up were likely due to a few things, but one of them being that they have generic sounding theme songs to where yeah. within the first two seconds you can't ident- easily identify who's coming out next. Oh, I don't know if you saw, there was a video and it was like set up in the rafters, you know, like where the champions boxes were to watch. Yeah, I did see this video. And even Seth, even Seth didn't even know how to react. He's like, "All right, who's this coming out?" I'm like, "I hate to say, but that was me too." I'm like, "Okay, who was that?" And there's, I think, in the in the thirty participants we had for the for the man, for, well, actually for the. 60 for men's and women combined. I could think of maybe 15 that had an easily identifiable, um, easily identifiable, easily identifiable theme song. 
and most of them have been in the company for decades at this point. Like, you could easily identify you know, Sami Zayn. You could easily identify Trick Williams when he actually Trick Williams wasn't there, but if Trick Williams would have showed up in the Royal Rumble, he would easily got that reaction. Um, it's, it's, it, it, you know, gone are the times of where like remember when Edge came back. As soon as you hear, you think you know me instantly. You know that's Edge coming out. Do you guys think having the entrance music for every participant kind of takes the surprise element out of it? No, no. not really. It's a you know what? You know, a big star coming back. Because this is how I, you know. Because this is coming from someone who's watched both. Uh, without the the only people who got entrance music back in the nineties and the, was the first two participants. After hmm. that, you know, after that, from number three to number thirty, it was a who's who. No music. You just see him walking down the aisle. And I, I think. Like, oh look! That, look who's here. Hmm. Yeah, remember, remember, I said this uh, last week. You know, uh, number three was Ric Flair. He got a big that that crowd in '92 was hot. Everybody coming out because there was no music. Like, oh no, not this guy. We based on the music. I think you get more generated, re, more ge- general, more genuine response without the music, because you could, you know, because it's like now the the audience is guessing. You got fifty thousand people trying to guess who's coming out. Mm-hmm. You, you cannot tell until unless you see them walking down the aisle. Yeah, I'll tell you, last time I felt like that for maybe a couple like that was when Edge came back in for the pandemic. And then AJ before that because both both of those are probably the greatest prize entrant returns of all time because Edge, we didn't even think we were going to see him in the ring again. And AJ, he was like, um, a guy, he was a TNA guy. He was a mm-hmm. guy. He was, okay, we're not gonna see him in the WWE ring, but seeing Punk back, and everything teaches you never say never. So with AJ Styles, his debut in the Royal Rumble. Every every time I look at that, if you look back at that video, if you look back at the videos about that, the crowd doesn't pop until the word "phenomenal" comes up on the screen. And that was after maybe five seconds of the of the song going like everyone's like who is this and then he said I am phenomenal as soon as it said phenomenal the whole crowd erupts that's when they knew but that's not an easily identifiable song like now you can understand it like you got someone like a Randy Orton I hear voices in my head easily you can hear that oh yeah you're like oh here he comes <laughs> L A Knight same thing L A Knight easily. Yeah. yeah, there it is. I know his, I know his bitch ass is going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to you. That said, got a question for you. Who has the best theme song right now, men or women? I need one oh, definitive answer. Let's, let's look at the roster. Um, if, if you really wanted my answer, mm-hmm. uh, Orange Cassidy three years ago, but they changed the song. So... <laughs> We're gonna look. Hold on. If my computer will stop lagging, I would appreciate that. Um, damn WWE. I just I looked up WWE roster and it, that shit showed up WWE superstars. Hmm. I am about a friend. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, anybody else can answer. I'm just waiting for my shit to look. We're actually, uh, which I'm just trying to put thought into it. So, uh, are we talking currently, or are we talking all time? Currently, right now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get to all time. I'm gonna get to all time, but right now, currently, uh, I, I like Kevin. I like Kevin Owens' thing. Uh, I like, uh, I like Solo's thing a lot. That one's um, lit. Burn, 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 burn. I yeah. do like the electric guitar rock thing. I like I like the rock thing. Um, let's see. I don't want to do like I don't know what because I, I, I don't I don't want to sound like a, a, a old timer because Randy Orton's thing is like that's never changed. Classic. Even, even with the little modification that they wanted to add, it was still not gonna change. That shit was still amazing. And uh, <laughs> Cena's thing. Believe it or not, I think is pretty good, especially since you know super recognizable. 
Mm-hmm. And it's super memeable. Um, let's see. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think. I'm thinking woman. Um, let's go man. Let's go man and woman. If we can separate that one out, because that's that's a whole different ball game. I actually like Naomi's new thing. I don't think they dropped the ball with that one. It's not bad. I miss Feel the Glow. Because it, cause it's got the... I mean, keeping Feel the Glow for when she came back around Rumble was the, was the smart move. Yeah. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I like Becky Lynch's thing. Pretty cool. Um... I hate Bailey's theme. That shit needs to go. That shit needs to go. Damage control can go. Bailey's theme, which damage control is based off of, it's not bad. I got it. it. I got it. The the two best themes in the WWE right now is Braun Strowman's and Bobby Lash. I'll go with that. Mm. That's my. That's my. Bobby Lashley is in the front running for me, yes. <clears throat> that, that's definitely gift off. It, it also just works with his character. You know, it's supposed to be the almighty, this jacked up, muscle bound dude. Funny. I don't know why, it's just funny. I, I, love, I love it. I love the thing. Um, yeah, I would say that's my top two, probably. I'm surprised Kingdom uh, hasn't were... entered this discussion at all. <laughs> I, uh, it got drawn out. Uh, number three for me is all true thing. I wish he would. I wish he would go back to rapping on the way to the ring. That was my favorite part of it. I just like the beat. The beat is fire. I'm looking. I'm also, scrolling on the uh, roster right now. I don't recognize half of these people. All of the Judgment Day remixes to the Judgment Day members are really good. Yes. I give them that too. Most and Listen White did this did his thing. For uh but for outside of that, You know, I, I I say the worst. Y'all gonna hate me for this. I do not like cultural personality. I just don't I like don't that song. I don't like what they did to it when they out the remix version that they have right now can't do it. What he had back in 2014, I like that one better. I still think um, this fire burns is CM Punk's best day, but we'll get to that. Um, Talking about the the worst one, I think the best one for me, in terms of recognizability, crowd reaction, and fitting to the personality, you gotta have. Trick Williams in there. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious. I, I didn't want to put obvious ones in there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's still a lot, even though Death Rebel was trash, there's still a lot of good things out there. Because some of them are not made for me. So. And then you have, like, aside from the obvious classics like Randy Orton, John Cena, um, I think Sammy James is a good one too. Is a, is a yeah, that one too. Um, Ricochet's original theme song before they botched that. Oh, well, we're talking current. So Ricochet's theme song now, obviously, is, is kind of ass, but that ball headed motherfucker got Samantha <laughs> Evans. So he can't, he can talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what say man. you, be silly? And he's also a multiple time mid card champion. I, I've never seen one in my life. So he's he's doing well for his life. Um but yeah. Well alright, uh, that for men, well at least from what I've heard from myself and from Ty. Uh Greek one, what say you? Yeah, Greek. Oh, Greek is alive? He stopped talking for a while. I, I'm shocked. He talks a mile a minute. <laughs> what DHB, what about you? For me, top three right now would be Roman, mm. Cody, and 
and um, Judgment Day. But the but the top one for me right now would be Judgment Day because it's a it's a I like the instrumentals more than the ones with words. Mm-hmm. And I do too. That starts it off with a good beat and everything. But Roman is a, a close second because here it's just the the whole thing with the the beat that comes on and everything with it. Oh, makes you think you're a church. Makes mm-hmm. you think you're in a church choir. Nah, it makes me think I'm in a Mario game about to face Bowser for some odd reason. Like, what the hell is going on? Nah, what we lost him. There he goes. Oh, he came back. Is he back? Is he back? Fun fact: I actually came out in my wedding to Roman Reigns' theme song. That was my entrance music when I uh when me and my wife went into the reception hall. Nigga didn't even do a classic theme song. He just did Roman song. Oh man! <laughs> did everybody acknowledge you at your wedding? I did actually. Oh, I sure did. Are you we good? Got cameras on now. Turn we the camera back go. off. We good? <laughs> we can't hear you. We I didn't. Mic, you. Dude, your mic, dude, your mic. I can't hear you. Go back to what you was doing. We can't hear you, bro. I didn't mute him this time. It wasn't me. <clears throat> Amen himself. <laughs> <laughs> We're figuring this out. For the women. Easily Rhea Ripley. Yeah, Rhea Ripley is probably the number one. That one is not available. Which one's next? No. Uh, after after Rhea Ripley? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, are there really any good female thing? Uh Chelsea Green. Hear me out. Chelsea Green. Sonia Deville. Oh yeah, I was oh yeah, I was getting to that. I was getting to that. Sonia Deville, yo, she has a top tier thing for such a <laughs> mid card mid wrestler. I wasn't gonna say all that, but yeah. Um You were thinking it. <laughs> we were all thinking it. Yeah, I like I like Shasi's theme as well. And the tank gimmick fits the song. It does. So that's why that theme is up there too. Uh, Oscar's got a pretty good theme. Oscar, yeah, that's that's a classic actually. I, I consider that a classic. Yeah. Um, either either version, um, either version for the Empress of Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I consider that a classic. Yes. Um, yes. What about Eo Sky's theme? No. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. it. It's um, yeah. I think the bass needs to be a bit louder. That. Like I, need, I need to hit a little harder. Yeah, it comes on good, but it falls off. Right. Um, uh, Bianca? Oh, yeah, of course. Bianca Belair. Um, uh, Becky? No, I'm not going to lie. Ren Sinclair's theme has been stuck in my head since like, since she made her debut. and I need that I to need be to on Spotify. On I don't I know if it's on Spotify it's right on. now. It's on YouTube, but I can tell you that. That's it. Yeah, I'm not saying it's sleep, baby girl. <laughs> oh, <no>. Relax. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we can move on from that. Uh, Take it easy. Let's see. Uh, I, hate, I absolutely hate Liv Morgan's song. You could call watch me a hater. Me. I don't yeah. like it. Just All it is is watch me and then some weird random sounds after that. Raquel Rodriguez um, is a pretty good one. I, I agree with that. I was like, okay, that was definitely on my playlist already. Uh, Charlotte's theme is is fucking made. Uh, it's just her father with some with some bass to it. Uh, Natalia could kick rocks. That's a Rock recognizable okay. one because I mean it's just Bret Hart's theme. It's the whole Hart Foundation. That one's recognizable at least. You hear that? You hear that one guitar? Guitar note. A lot of people hate her, but I like Nia Jackson's thing. I, I, I actually like it. I, I'm not I'm not so against it. I like it. Alexa's old theme, we're gonna get to, you know, better themes and few, but they they butcher. Isn't time. she do anyway. isn't she do coming isn't she due back at some point soon? Yeah. Who are we talking about? Alexa Alexa Bliss. Oh yeah. We have yeah, she had 
She had some. She had cancer on her face or something like that. Then she had a baby. Probably not in that order, but man, she she's been out for a minute. And then when you know Bray Wyatt died, you know she's just been going through something. I thought she would have yeah. returned at the Royal Rumble, but I guess not. We can move on to all time. Uh, Greatest all time theme things. of all time. Because you got. Top, I gotta go with top five because I can't go number one. Top five in no particular order: Stone Cold, Undertaker. Those which are Stone the, Cold thing. <sighs> yeah, which one? Mm, the one with disturbed. The one, is, the one with disturbed. Yeah, so the, the, the talking one. The yeah. talking one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Um, although his current iteration of Broken Glass is still pretty recognizable. Um, Edge or Adam Copeland as he's called now. Does he still use um, Metalingus in AEW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still uses that. Yes. Um, I think my time is now. John Cena is t- is top five all time. Uh, and Kurt Angle. Yo, Vince Clay is so fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna be. Um, uh, Greek is having an issue with his audio, by the way. Yeah, his yeah, his, yeah. his user volume is already turned up. His mute is not on. Uh, like I don't know what it is with his volume. He might I don't even he might have something to do with his phone. Did he might have to restart his phone? I don't know what's going uh, did on. Did you did you plug in something? Is something unplugged? Yeah, like, did you plug in something? Because it seemed like you had a mic plugged into your phone. I think it was deep. Well, either way, uh, it's good that you're muted. Anyways, oh. (laughs) 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 Wow. Wow. Let's see. I'm probably missing some uh, really just, obvious ones too, but those are the top. All the time, I'm gonna just give, I'm gonna just throw random ones all the time. Um, the Jeff Hardy solo thing, that's kind of an obvious one. Oh, how did I get um, no more words? Oh, I'm tripping. Uh, uh, oh man, no more words is classic. Yep. Uh, we did Booker T. Yeah, Booker T. Um. The NWO thing. Um, who else? Goldberg's thing, even though he's fucking trash. Uh, I like Goldberg's thing. That that one's that one's uh, that one's an even a good one to get a chain in there. Goldberg, that whole thing. The electric guitar rock thing, which is the current one now, I think that that is his best thing. I don't care. Can you smell with the? I don't give a fuck about that. This thing now is better than the ones before. The and one that, he debuted back in what? The one in back in what? Twenty eleven? They debuted. Yeah. He was the host of WrestleMania twenty uh, seven. Yes. Uh, if they do some sort of remix for like Hollywood, quote unquote, right now Hollywood rock with that theme, I, I would like to see that. Um. The, the lesson, um, mankind's thing is highly underrated. Highly for mankind specifically. Now, I do love yes. I catch the shack, mankind, mankind, even though I like do love so, but mankind is very underrated. Uh, a trash wrestler and currently a YouTuber, Maven's thing is really good. Mm. Uh, um, John Moxley's FCW thing is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, our troops theme. Uh, we didn't talk about this in the current one, but the Mrs. theme is actually. Oh, of course, of course. I don't. There's, there's too much talent to remember all this. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. There's so many wrestlers. I'm, I'm trying to like recycle. Uh, uh, what the fuck was that? Triple H's corporate theme song. The King of Kings. 
not the King of Kings when he was a when he when he was a like a huge heel at like ninety nine. Oh, I don't even know that one. I think, I think it's my time. Is it's my it's time. My time. My time. Yeah, that's that when he was. Song. That's when he was. That's when he was paired with China at that time. Yeah, that theme song is fucking great. As well as the game, obviously. But that theme song, that theme song is great. Uh, boy toy, obviously. I think that's what it's called, right? Shawn Michaels, uh, sexy boy. Sexy boy. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, I want to. I wouldn't say Randy Savage. Hulk Hogan is pretty recognizable. Uh, Bret Hart is pretty recognizable. Speaking uh, of Hulk Hogan's theme, I'm I'm playing my Ton of Wrecking Interest playlist on Spotify, and I got it on Smart Shuffle. When Hulk Hogan's theme came on to my um to, to like the recommended songs on the playlist, I skip? hit yeah, I hit skip so fast. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> All her bang, bang, nope. Mm. Um, I hated her, but Ronda Rousey's theme song was good because I actually like that song. And we're gonna get to um, a discussion about licensed music in a second. That's up there. <laughs> I got one more question before we get to that part. Hey, I'm back. Oh, we're oh, back. No. There goes the neighborhood. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. no. The real no. Fan. no, he no, no, you're not. <laughs> oh my god. What's your what's your question? Uh, uh no, I'm back. I would no, yes. what I was saying is about the theme songs, I yeah. kinda like Finn Balor's updated theme song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, all the cool. judgment all the I'm judgment day I'm remixes not. of them, yeah. Alright. Um anyone else it's as far as all time themes. Where uh, did oh, we leave anyone out? Uh, I want to make sure everyone got an answer on that one. Uh, yeah. I'd have to, I'd have to throw my hat in. Um, oh, you haven't. John Cena's John Cena's Thugadomic Steam, which honestly doesn't get enough recognition for me. It doesn't get enough. John Th- John Cena's Thugadomics. Mm-hmm. I like it. We're, we're not. I like. <laughs> I like Batista's the old theme song before. Oh, I um, forgot about Batista. This song, this song was called like, like, I, when I heard this song like at the gym, like you made me an outdoor workout. It will, uh, I'll send it to you guys after. I think, um, if you guys hear it, you might not get it, but um, it was pretty good because it, it, it sounded like he was ready to beat someone up and kill somebody, and then rated RKO is one of my favorites too. And here's what I here's what I hadn't heard. But it's still a very good one. Mark Henry. Alberto. D- oh. Ooh, Which yeah. one? Somebody gonna get their ass kicked. Not sexual chocolate. Why would you oh, bring up no, sexual chocolate? I'm not talking about sexual chocolate good. right now. I'm like, world's strongest <laughs> man. I think that song was good too. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was just some like smooth and the jazz. One before, <laughs> the one before. The one Sound before. Like, somebody's gonna get it. That song too. Mark Henry has some bangers. They get they they book them right with that with those songs. Um, Play it up, beat it up, do it. Yo, that's the mm-hmm. thing too. Actually, I think there was a, there was a thing on YouTube that was even talking about like the rise and fall of um, music in like WWE. Because and I'm like, hold on, hold on, point. hold on. I know where you're going with this. I'll get there. I get there. I got some other things I'm gonna talk about. That's on there. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's, Let's get, get there. there. Let's Before. Get there. All right, DHB. Best all time that hasn't been said. That hasn't been said. Jesus Christ. Um, if there's any, if 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 you agree with anything else, we can move on. <laughs> uh, somebody said Batista then, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they just said Batista. My bad. Yeah, really. Now, I'm but I'm gonna go down the roster. Just alpha in alphabetical order. I'm going to call out wrestlers who've been in the WWE long enough to have multiple theme songs assigned to them. I know what you're going to do. And we're going to pick which song is the best for each of them. <laughs> God damn. Ooh. So, and I might miss a few because I haven't been watching in a while. So, uh, if someone, Ty, can have the roster up with... Up there. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it too. I'm looking at it too. So if I if I skip somebody, let me know. 
if you skip someone, I'm 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 gonna say their most likely their theme song was most likely the same post. Yeah. So I'm gonna go all the way down because the list goes Adam Pierce, AJ Styles, Occam, Akira Tozawa, Alba Fire, Alexa Bliss. Adam Pierce? He has got a theme song? No, I'm just I'm just oh, going down the list of people who's currently just, currently uh, being superstars. Uh, you just oh, missed a bunch of names okay. already. <laughs> Who did you say? Adam Pierce, AJ Styles. Acom. Acom, Akira Tozawa. Uh, Andrade, it should be next. <laughs> it's got no, it's got Alba Fire, Alexa Bliss, Alicia Taylor, then Andrade. I'm going. It's got women too, not just men. Oh, oh, I put only men. I'm fucking with. Oh, nah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, what's Alba Fire's theme song? I barely see it. It's um, cause she, it's she and Isla Dawn are got that unholy union, which is actually kind of, kind of nice theme song. I, I don't listen to it enough to even have an opinion on it. Okay. Um, I've never Ray heard Alicia Taylor's. Song, guys. Alicia Taylor is the we, ring announcer for NXT. I don't even think she has one. Where do we talk? Why do we? Why are we talking about Bruno? <laughs> I was. Um, I just wanted to mess with you guys. No. Uh, Alexis Bliss, when she was the interviewer, the 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 I hate. I'm a, I'm gonna make Nia Jax into my bitch. Mm-hmm. Theme song. A bliss. Something that was like her, that? that was her best theme song. I believe it's called Moment of Bliss. Moment of Bliss. Peter That's what it's called. I believe that's what it was called. Uh, uh, skipping a bunch of people from NXT. Now, spiteful. That's what it was called. Spiteful. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, did uh, Andrade no, have yeah, a going. new one? Did Andrade have multiple ones? Uh, let's, let's look. Hold on. Well, well, his, original, his original NXT for me was a banger. Arido. It had some like Spanish beat in the background. Why is my Wi Fi just acting like shit right now? This shit is pissing me the fuck off. Um, I don't know. I think Andrade has multiple songs, but my internet is just not cooperating with me. Um, in the interest of time, I'm going to move on to Angelo Dawkins. Specifically for him and Montez Ford. We got two. Don't they have one thing? They got oh, two. two themes because they changed their theme when they aligned with Bobby Lashley. It's not the uh I bring the swag. That's my that's my favorite. I bring the swag. But they uh they have a new theme now, but they barely play it because they come out with Bobby Lashley. Okay. Like back when they tried to make them heels and they were in the crowd was like, We're not gonna boo them, why would we do that? <laughs> I know. But it was just like when they tried to get us to boo Sasha or Banks, it's like no, that's not Sasha Banks. I'm sorry. Oh, they don't want to fuck fuck that that bitch. So, Relax. They couldn't, they couldn't, Take it they easy. Boo Sasha quick enough. They couldn't yeah, boo her quick I, enough. Yeah, I had a box there. Sorry about that guys. Take it easy. Oscar oh, Oscar's theme. <laughs> like I think the because I because I think there were two different versions of the same song. Um, I think I think it's called "You Can't Hide" or "Episode Tomorrow." Um, I think I like her current theme. I think her current theme is the best one, at least in WWE. Yeah, I like it. I, I think it's it's passable for her. Um, she's crazy though. Yeah. Did Theory um, have another theme other than "A Town Down"? I don't know, but A Town Down, show me, yo, that theme song is fire. We didn't talk about it. That, that I don't song, like it. What? I don't like I, it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you, you say you don't like it? No. Oh, no. That's just... <laughs> Why? Why? Because he's not from Atlanta, but he's from Atlanta? That's not even, I mean, it's because it's a, it's, it's a song called A Town Down, but it could not sound anything less like Atlanta. <laughs> Because when I think of A Town Down, I think of Usher, which is nowhere near what that sound sounds like. <laughs> I, I, I I might be the minority in that one, but I just can't do it. Yeah, because A Town Down. I like the remix version one does where it's a tired song too, and it's like with A Town Down and tired, and it's like I be popping bottles, I be popping bottles. Yeah, let's just skip Apollo. 
I did skip Apollo, Apollo didn't I? I didn't know if he had it. Yeah. I didn't know if he had multiple. He does. He, he, had, he had one when he had like the some some Nigerian. I mean, he's really from nobody. Like when, like, when he was like when he was like not Nigerian, Nigerian prince. He, yes, yes. His current one is best. Uh, the best is yet to come. Well, I, I think I think they say. Do they like that gimmick, guys, or no? No. Uh, Cruise Control was really good by CFO. Yeah. No, but what I was saying is, did we like that theme song by uh, that, that gimmick by Apollo Crews, the Nigerian one, or did we think that was a little? Eh. This He's this Nigerian. was this was during the re- this is during the redacted era of booking racial stereotypes onto onto wrestlers of color. So I say no. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're His right. name used to be. Hold on, hold on. To defend that, his name used to be Oha Nation. And ain't that a little racist? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, that's part of why I was saying that. <laughs> no, but this is before he went into the WWE. Oh wow! 2019. Dragon Gate. Dragon Gate and C C Z W. He was named Oha Nation. Yes, he was. Yes, that's a-, a nation. You know, that's a little. Yeah. Anyways, um, mm-hmm. gotta I think Baron the next one on the list Man. that would have multiple Baron Corbin. Yeah, Baron hey, Corbin. His uh, current one, one is the best one, I think. His current I like, one. Yeah. I like his "I Bring the Darkness" song because I've, I've actually, when I played 2K, I made that my theme song a few times because I'm like, oh, this song sounds like. I mean. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. I wonder why you haven't won the Universal title yet. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> now, Bailey. Bailey. I think we can all agree that her current hey, one is not her best. I don't think Bailey has had a good thing. <laughs> She's due for one. If she if she wins if she wins at WrestleMania, she is due for a new one. I like to that's Rebel gonna now. suck it up. How are you gonna skip all the way to Tommaso Champa? I didn't even. Wrong. I didn't even say Champa. I said if she wins the championship. <laughs> yeah. No, but the thing is, it's like people were talking about like they're we're not the skipping to Tommaso Champa. Yeah, we, <laughs> we got so on. much <laughs> more. <laughs> Becky Lynch. Hey, I've only known Becky. I mean, I know she. I know when she was the Irish last kick, and she had some Irish like when she was like river dancing to the ring. I don't think we're gonna talk about that. I think her current one is her best one. What about <laughs> when Becky Lynch was first when she was first in NXT as the Irish last kick Irish last kicker, yeah, such a word to say. It was dark times. Uh, <laughs> it was dark times. Yeah, that was very dark times for for her for sure. Uh, She's come so I don't far. think Beto has had multiple theme songs, so we're gonna skip him. Yeah, Berto uh, Carrillo. Bianca has only had one theme song, which is the current one, which is a freaking banger. Biggie, Biggie has had a few. Biggie has had a few. He's I had like a few. First one. I like his first one. I can't keep still. I was. I I play that one sometimes at the gym. I'll be like, okay, let me get through this set. Yeah, it can't keep still, It huh? is. It is hard to. It's hard to listen to the New Day theme. Because it's Biggie saying it's a new day, yes it is, and then he doesn't come out. It's it's very it's I getting a lot it. harder to do that every single time. But which theme song? Because I like his soul. I like his solo theme song. I do. He won the title. I like it too. But I also really like I got followers. And that is and, why are you on the shuttle platform? I'm, who said I'm a I'm a I'm in the Grand Central. I'm in the Grand Central. But I, I, had the, I heard the, I heard the shuttle. He was no, talking about the shuttle. No, that's the shuttle train to Times Square. I, no, I know. I I live and work in the, the subway. Well, <laughs> not sure, no. but, <laughs> but moving on from that, has Blade Dav? Oh wait, no, we we didn't go for Big E. Oh, which one? Which one? I think the one when he won the towel was his best one. Okay. I think New Day's number okay. two. I think so. The the other one that he had, I'm thinking like right after he broke away from Dolph Ziggler, that theme. 
I think that was the one that Beast Elite was talking about earlier. Uh, what about his NXT thing, which is I got five, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Another, one that's, so another one that's popping in my head as I'm thinking about this, because it has nothing to do with Big E, was, um, oh, what is his name? Oh, what is his name? So we, we skipped him. Titus, no, 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 no. It was, it was Titus O'Neil's solo theme after he broke away from the uh, primetime players. That was good. Ooh, oh, your boy, like, you want to talk? Shh. Well, what what they what talking they... about? <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Uh, we skipping. We're skipping. That's skipping. Crazy. Bobby Lashley, I believe, is the next up that has multiple themes. Yeah, because I don't know who the fuck is Boa. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He's an who NXT superstar. Boa? That's all I can understand. He's got that. Oh, he's got a nice looking mask NXT... on, though. He's an NXT level up. Yeah. I know he's in level up. Because his name is Boa. They have no gimmick for him. Uh, Bobby Lashley, his current thing was just... I like I like his thing when he returned, too. It, it was basic. It was straight to the point. You know. But... Oh, that's one, a name I, I didn't expect to see on the roster. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Uh, that's not a name. I don't know what you're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, that, that is not in the server. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What I'm, that, I'm, I, I don't must, know what that. I must be talking against know. you two. I, I must be seeing things. But yeah, you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Braun Strowman. Braun has Braun Strowman had? I'm pretty sure he has had multiple. Yeah, yeah. All I remember is just it sounds like the like the first few seconds is just him screaming. Whoa! Yeah. yeah, that was the yeah. weakest. That was the weakest scream I've ever heard from you. I'm, the uh, I'm trying not to blow out the audio <laughs> on this OBS right now. I'm like my oh, normal yeah. volume is already in the yellow to reddish range. If I scream, it's going to be oh, bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, because then they play back on YouTube. It's gonna sound like loud. They're like, oh, why were you so loud? Yeah. This snowball mic uh, picks Carlito, up everything. We're, we're gonna skip to Carlito because I think he's the only one. Uh, Carlito's be- Carlito's earliest earliest name. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. That be cool. is the best one. What they have for him yeah. now is <clears throat> can't do it. Yeah, you would you would have swore it was AI, AI generated. Right. That's fucked up. Now, for, <laughs> now, if it was for someone else, I would be fine with it because it's on its own. It's not bad, but it, because it's Carlito. Yeah. Uh, Carmella, I think she's had multiple things for her pregnant ass. Um, I think um, the one before her her previous yeah, one, yeah. not not the not the one where she's spelling fabulous. The one before that, I think that's her best one. What uh-huh. fabulous? F A B O F A B. Yeah, not not that one. The one before the one before that. Actually, no, that that might be the one I'm thinking of. Uh, because I know she had one that was like some like real slow one where she's like seducing people or something like that. I can't remember. I was I think that was her new one after the fabulous gimmick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it might okay. have been afterwards. That was her revamped gimmick song I believe. She ain't been I mean she ain't been on T V in a minute. I mean because she was pregnant but um I like how they labeled her as the Queen of Staten Island or well the Princess of Staten Island. Uh-huh. Yeah, the princess is yeah, yeah, she's yeah. from Massachusetts. Uh, what? Yeah. So wait a minute. She's Carmella's not even from Staten. Spencer matches Massachusetts. They do nah. have a fake Wait a minute now. Anyways. Uh, Has Cedric Alexander had multiple ones? I genuinely don't know, but the lumbar check is one of the best finishes of all time. Yeah, that looks so devastating. I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't even decide to take that bump. That looks painful. Lumbar the legacy should definitely be his nickname, and that should stay like that. He's not had multiple. Uh, uh, only one shot, like he's Hamilton. Uh, overtime. Uh, won't let go by CFO, and then prime time. Mm. I don't recognize any of those. Fucking love bar check. That shit is... Chad Gable. 
He had a few, right? I like his Alpha Academy theme. I, yeah. I mean, I, I like that one. I haven't. I I saw like when he was like come, coming when, especially when he had long hair or when he was shorty G. I wasn't really watching. Like yeah. like I saw like I saw bet, bits and pieces of his uh, tag team when he was with Jason Jordan before he got hurt. Yeah. And they were a great tag team too. I I, I like them as a tag team and. Um, the thing is, I, I like Jagu, but I hated his Shorty G gimmick. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Shorty G. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, bro, I mean, it's clearly a wrestler, and you make him that's like a basketball player. I'm like, he not I even. is. That's basically a white rapper's name, Shorty G. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Literally. I'm like, I, I hope someone said, hey, I want my name back. <laughs> like, the gimmick itself just wasn't working anyway. Pajemical's trash. Oh, that was also around the same time where they um, had the stalker uh, storyline with Otis and uh, Mandy Rose. I don't even want to ask for clarification that on that. Intriguing, though. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just intriguing. I don't even want to ask for clarification. You know on what? That. I, that's I think that storyline worked out a lot better than what people realize it did. That it was intriguing. It was intriguing. It kept me interested. I just don't know why. I, I don't know why, but it just kept me interested. Maybe Charlotte. because of the, f- maybe because of the f- fat man dynamic with the beautiful bombshell. I mean, I'm, I'm, bombshell I'm glad that they kept. I'm, well, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm glad that they kept Otis as the horn dog. I mean, that, I think that gimmick works for him. What you be doing on the side? <laughs> I'm, I'm not about to hate on people that have OnlyFans. This is not what I'm here to talk about. Alright, we we moving on to Charlotte. I can't I can't talk to this through anymore. Um, <laughs> we moving on to Charlotte. Uh, and none of Charlotte's themes is a bar good. We're just gonna move on from her. Um Chelsea Green. Uh I like her story. You gotta say it right. <laughs> I mean I, I like her I like her theme now. I like her. I like I'm her a hot mess. Oh yeah, that's that's Ooh. pretty good. <laughs> I had to stop myself before I said something. <laughs> uh, obviously, CM Punk, the best thing was this five months. Agreed. Um, yeah. Cody Rhodes. I... Smoke and Mirrors. I was about to say that. Yes. I like Broken Mirrors. Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, from the, oh, yeah, smoke from and mirrors. the dashing version. Not the undashing, the, the dashing version when he was when he yeah. first made it, his heel turn, that was probably his best. Kingdom is up there, like it's a great theme. I think, yeah. I think for the gimmick of dashing Cody Rhodes, like the yeah. the devilishly handsome man who's giving out beauty tips with the easily punchable yeah. face, perfect sort of sort <laughs> of theme for that. And he's like telling guys to put on lip gloss and shit. I'm like, yo, Cody, this ain't the story, buddy. This ain't the story. He 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 put his heart and soul into that gimmick though, and I respect I, him for that. Oh, you could tell, but I'm just like Cody. I know if, if if somebody actually did these beauty tips, I know they're getting their ass beat in school tomorrow. I I just know what's happening. Like they'd be like, hey guys, how do I look? Like they walk up to like the girl, and they're just like, why do you got lip gloss on your face? And he's like. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> has um, have Cora Jade has, it, has Cora Jade had any had multiple ones? I think she did when she when she turned heel, right? Maybe, maybe. Um, but then you got oh. Cruz Del Toro, which she's not doing nothing. Corey Graves, Dakota Kai. How old ass? Damien Priest. Uh, are, we, are we in agreement that everyone, every member of the Judgment Day's best theme is the one they currently have? Yes. Um, yeah, I can rock with that for sure. Uh, Damien Kemp gave him Steve since brother, which I did not know until last weekend. Uh, Danny Palmer, not too soon. Dexter Loomis, where he been? Uh, gone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Dijak. Dijak. This theme or his first coming Dijak theme? He was Dijak Dijakovic or something like that? 
Yes, but he was his full name. <laughs> I like his current one. I like the gimmick behind it, the sort of like movie Terminator. theme. Fucking Terminator wannabe. Uh, Dominic's current theme is fire. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Lee. I'm the best wrestler I've ever seen, guys. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Has Dragon Lee had multiple? Or is he uh, I think he's only got the one. Okay, Drew Bullock. No. Drew McIntyre. I'm waiting for him. Broken, uh, dream. broken, broken dreams. dreams. That's my favorite. Yeah. Broken. Uh, if he brings that back at any oh. point, like I, I, I think he had like a one-off with it a couple years ago. But that one was such a good one for Drew McIntyre, and I, and the, you know, it the suited perfectly too. Now I don't think that would have suited for, for someone being called the chosen one. I don't think. Broken Dreams would have worked for him then. But now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially with this new, like, hater gimmick where he's going around, like, just doing being the asshole to, like, ev- to everyone. And then being like, me? I-, I would never, like... But then he's also like, I'd break for this to happen. I'm like, well... But this is probably the best work Drew McIntyre has had since... Probably since um, he uh, dropped back to Raw, or probably since Clash of the Castle last year, or 2022. Uh, we got Eddie Thorpe, Electra, has has, Electra hasn't. Any. Elton Elton Prince, Prince not really. Fucking yes, boy. I, get, I almost said something again. <laughs> well, uh, you gotta relax, dude. We are episode two. <laughs> Eric is the same. Fallen Henley, I don't know. Finn Balor, his current thing. Although, uh, although Demon Finn Balor is a is still a great theme too, or is even Funaki dead. We gotta move on from Funaki. Um, <laughs> wait, wh- oh, oh, I see. Uh, Gigi Dolan, I don't even know her thing, so yeah, I'm being very right. true. All I know, she has a lot of assets mm-hmm. that. Uh, I, mean, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Who is? Greg Miller. I don't even want to know who that is. Greg Miller? Who is that? I've never heard of him. I see him like, like, What was Vinci's solo thing? It was a solo thing. Um, he had a solo thing. I don't even know. Because when he was by himself in NXT, he had, he had a thing. Uh, Grayson Waller, fat neck ass. Uh, <laughs> I don't even like his current theme. I don't like it. Oh, you, you don't? I, 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 can't, I can't get behind it. Like it's it's easily recognizable as his, but it's just like I don't. It it, it doesn't do it anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Fucking media star ass theme song. Oh, Hear me oh, out. Put oh, that oh, theme oh. on theory. Oh, on oh, selfie oh. theory. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, put yeah, that theme on selfie theory. Selfie theory. <laughs> with selfie theory, then it makes sense. He said, hey, time now. Nigga taking selfie. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, Gunther is current thing. Yeah. Because uh, I think that's the only one he's had. Dang, um, They just changed the, the... They just changed a, a word. Mm-hmm. It usually won't, but it's good. Um... Dragonov? Has he had multiple? I think so, but I like his I like his current one. And when, when he's doing the the composition while you're walking down. Alright, we're gonna skip India Hartwell. Um EL Scott. <laughs> what was her theme before she got fired? It wasn't better than her current one. She didn't get fired. She just not. She just was not coming up. She just was asked not to come back. Uh-huh. The one that got fired was Dakota Kai, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. This is what niggas ain't care about. Now we can. Now she about to be a future world champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hold on. I don't know. My, my computer, my computer is not loading. Uh, the I next, know she had another thing. yeah, the next four it, are Jackie Redman, J.C.J., Jade Cargill, and Chikara Jackson. 
none of them will be. And Javi and Javi Javier Bernal. Bernal. Who the Pop. fuck is that, anyways? JD McDonough with his crackheaded face. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of face? He looks like a dog. He looks like a rabbit dog he in that picture. Like he does look like a dog. That's the fucked up thing. Bro, he, oh. he's from Spike Dudley for getting his ass beat every week. Like, he, he he's not even a part of Judgment Day. He's just there to get his ass beat. Be he's like, the mascot. We, I need to take, uh, there he goes. Sorry. Nope. You're our opponent tonight. I saw not, nothing with JD, uh, his old thing, maybe. Yeah, what I don't even know. I don't even recognize his current thing? team. Yeah. Uh, Jay Uso, obviously. <sighs> obviously, I feel, like the, I feel like the Usos have all had great things. They are. Throughout the years. I think yeah, so they, close. They, so close now is my favorite. Yeah. When they were doing a civil tile on the way to the ring, that was my favorite yeah. one. Oh, when they when they first came up, I, I fucking love that. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. Sometimes um, I'll that after. Sometimes out when I finish like my shower or something like, or I finish my workout, I'll do that into my. I'll do that in like the corner. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I'm like, just just leave me alone. <laughs> You're doing a, a, a fucking ritual dance move <laughs> yeah. in the corner. Okay. I'm not gonna um, go to the gym with you anymore. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 So, are we taking three man band, Jinder Mahal? Or are we taking... <laughs> I keep forgetting about three man band, Jinder Mahal. If they ever bring Heath Slater back, they need to reform the three man band for like, for like maybe 10 seconds in a match. Like, maybe like the Royal Rumble or something like that. Where all three of them are in the ring, they just like sort of have a moment and then just break up. <laughs> yeah. The official ring. Oh my god. There was another jobber skateboard. Do you guys remember the outcast where it was like Adam Rose, Bo Dallas, uh, Curtis Axel, and oh, someone else? I forgot who it was, but. Those are the most mid names I've ever heard, and I don't know yeah, exactly it's why. Bo Dallas was an NXT world champion and a tag champion. I know. Curtis Axel. Was a intercontinental champion and a tag champion. Adam Rose was a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Adam he Rose did more for the Rosebuds than he did for himself. He was out of there. Adam, yeah. I say I felt bad for um, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. I w- I would have made them like a legacy team because they they both their dads are. Yeah, but um, we are, we already that we've been there done that though. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's past. That, no, that, that's gone. I was gonna say, if you want to beat uh, the bloodline, do what I'm gonna oh, Legacy versus bloodline. Nah, nah, we're moving on. John Cena. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about what about John Cena's prototype song? I don't even remember right. what that sounds like. All right, a basic ass song with him and basic ass clothing. I remember what his gimmick looked like. I could not tell you what his uh the proto- his theme song the prototype, was. Bro? The prototype? Come on, man. Prototype. The generic. <laughs> Come on, man. The prototype, man. The Anyways, gimmick that almost got uh, him fired. You love to yeah. tell that story. And so he ran to Stephanie and she she became, you know, white in her pants for her. Anyway, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Johnny Gargano is definitely his best thing. Gargano, I don't give. A, I. How do we feel about the DOI save? As, as much as people hate his new themes, I didn't like his old themes either. So it, I'm sorry, I forgot. I kind of zoned out a bit. Gargano. Gargano. Oh yeah. That that was what I was kind of getting at. Um, some of the NXT guys need to keep their old theme songs, like Johnny Gargano, Tampa. Nah, fuck that. Fuck Gargano. Anyways, uh... We haven't even heard Kyrie Sane's... Like, I don't even yeah, think we've had Kyrie it. Sane have a singles match since he's been back, has she? Nah. Or she has had a singles match. It's been when she would come out with, like, damage control. Alright, uh, Kyrie and Cross. 
He's got a new one now. Uh, with with the uh, the final test of it. I liked Fallen Prey. That one wasn't that wasn't bad. That was his NXT oh, one, right? Yeah. That one. That was his I NXT one, so. right? I believe so. Yeah. No, that was good. I, I don't know. Scarlet, they Scarlet the made across. it better too. I'm sorry. They did. They dropped the ball across. I'm sorry. They definitely what about did. CMC, Chance and Carter, CMC. What, what KC about that? squared. That's a good one though. Or C squared. Yeah. KC squared, yeah. KC squared, squared. yeah. When I was, uh, I think, yeah, they had their, they were defending their titles um, at the SmackDown that I went to. That was a pretty, that was a pretty good one to keep everybody up and dancing. It fits their gimmick. Even if it doesn't sound good, if it fits their gimmick, it makes it makes up for it. You 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 was looking at Satin walking to the ring, right? Anyways, um, Kevin Owens. Not gonna deny that. Um, Kevin, why? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Owens, uh, obviously his only theme song that he's had in the WWE. That's crazy. As long as he's been in the WWE, he hasn't had a, he hasn't had a different one. That's crazy. That's that. That's that fat man love right there. Anyways, Kofi Kingston. SOS. Uh, SOS. SOS. Obviously. LA Knight, obviously his current theme song. Uh, Liv Morgan, none. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. I think Logan Paul has actually had two. Oh, no. no. I, feel like Ma- I feel like Maverick wasn't his... Uh... A.W. what? A.W. where my shit. A.W. what? <laughs> it is. Yeah, you keep cutting out after you say A.E.W., man. Yeah, so, yeah. No fuck it. We just gotta skip AEW. Um let's see who else. This no- MVP is literally like the next one who's had a different theme song. I like his theme song. I like all of them. Yeah. Um, Do you like his current one? That's cool. Yeah. I liked um his his one, first one with two, his first one without two. the intro, that was the best one. Like just skip to the like we don't need the the countdown. We just skip to, to the, the I'm yeah. You don't you don't like one two keep the clock. To, you don't like that one. It took too I like long. <laughs> I like the oh, I like you, the you just wanted to come. The <laughs> coming. I like the bad people. You gotta relax. <laughs> You just want him to come immediately, don't you? Like, that, that, that's not how it is. All right, you gotta keep the clock ticking, tick tock. All right. You're about to start him. Yeah, you're about to start him. Like, come on, man. You you immediately want him to come. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm coming. The fuck? And no no one can stop him. Right. Yeah, no, honestly, that that's where Come you're on, just man. like, bro, get back in the booth. We, we, we gotta redo this whole song. Come on. Oh we my god. Immediately. Like, I can't on. even laugh as hard as I want to right now. Uh, man, oh that's god. fucking insane. You want him to immediately I, I, I'm going to be on that for the rest of the day. You want him to immediately come. That's crazy. Anyways, we're moving on. Naomi's theme, previous theme song. Feel the, the glow. She's the heart. Foundation. She's had Don't the same care. one. Jax's current theme song is nice. Uh, Nick, I, I actually don't know for Nicky Cross. Um, I need her to just yeah, keep just walking around, looking all scary. Like I don't, I don't know where the payoff of that is gonna go. But I need her, Alba Fire, and Isla Dawn to be a fucking trio already. Yeah, hasn't almost had like six theme songs. What? His current one is his best one, whatever it is. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. He's had like six theme songs. Him, that's, him that's versus like a... Oba Femi soon is going to be insane. Um, Oba Femi's going to oh, carry him yeah, through that match. Enough. Yeah, yes. Uh, I think Nikki Cross has had a few. Free. Nikki Cross has had a few different ones, especially when she was Nikki A.S.H. Uh, super, yo, she has a f- We're going to move on. Um... <laughs> or Romensa. Otis is best one is his current one. Uh oh, yeah. Pete Dunn. 
I'm so glad he's back. I'm so glad like Pete Dunn is back and not Butch. I didn't like his upper lip. Like his upper lip just stank. Anyways, <laughs> uh, what was Pete Dunn's old thing? I feel like that was best. His, not Butch, obviously. The one before he, the one when he was in NXT UK. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. A lot of these are when I was when I wasn't even watching. Um, Piper Niven or old song? What, when she what was, was her old name? Dewdrop. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why, Vince? Why? Do oh, shit. That killed all momentum for her. Anyways. Oh, man. Uh, our truth. Forward... Hold on, hold on. I want to I wanna stay on her for a second. Remember that match between her and Becky? Oh, my God. Anyways. Our truth. Now, do we, like the... do we like the guitar or do we not like the guitar? I like the guitar. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I don't think Randy Orton's ever had a bad theme. Nah. Oh, I fucked that up. Burning My Light, that was a really good one. Voices is still the best one, in my opinion, but Burning My Light was a really good one, too. Because oh, 2009 made you realize that voices is really in your head too, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no. both of Randy's songs cooked. Uh, burning my, uh, burning my light. I, whenever I feel foggy and shit like that, like back when I was in school and stuff, and I come back from like suspension and stuff, I'd always play that song and be like, "Yeah, I'm back." Because they'd be like, "Oh shit." <laughs> And it matched the gimmick that he was currently what because because this was like you know burning my light was when he was he wasn't the viper yet. Yeah, no, but the thing is, he was able to uh, take the viper gimmick and made it like one of his best too. Uh, because and the voice, it, uh, his theme song like voices. It, if you listen to the lyrics, it's probably one of the most like deep ones too. You're just like, damn, bro. He said, "Fuck this, make my theme song." Like. <laughs> What there about, we go. Raquel uh, Rodriguez. Song? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What about his theme song before he joined that movie? What the? A basic theme song. Anyways, Raquel, she's, what, had the same one? I think so. Ray, Mis- Ross. Ray Mysterio. Ray, I do not, he's I had... do not like when, I do not like his debut song. I don't. I don't. I can't remember which one that was. I know there's Who's jump in that, that one. I don't like that. What? Are we Mysterio? Here I we like, go. Okay. <laughs> I like the upbeat one. The uh, POD version. What they gonna do when they come for you? you up there. I, I, I like that one. I, I I like that one better. I don't know why. I don't know why. I miss when he had the. I miss when they had the technology to have him jump from the, up from underneath the ring. Yeah, so, I, know, right? I wish they could never let that go. SmackDown vs. Raw made me, uh, maybe you know, enjoy that him jumping off the ring. Um, Rhea Ripley's current theme song, obviously. Yep. Uh, Ball headed man. Uh, Ricochet. Ricochet. I had mentioned this earlier. I had mentioned it's not his they, they pretty much genericize his uh his theme song. Why well, he's a like, generic nigga. Now one thing I want to one thing I wish that Ricochet did but has never done is cosplay as Ricochet from Mucha Lucha. It's right there. <laughs> there might be a copyright issue with that, but it, it's right there. Like the lowest of low hanging fruit. <laughs> Bring back his Prince Puma gimmick. Uh, supposedly. Oh God! Oh no! Dynamite is not looking nice right now. No, because um, Ric Flair wants to fight again. And yeah, I was just looking at that oh, in the Chris. I was yeah, just reading that. I was like, what are these guys? What is he doing? Why is why the ricochet? Why is the ricochet? Yeah. 
there is a reason why Ooh, I got one. Watching it. But because I like I don't want to see this old man die in the ring. Like, bro, go I somewhere. Do. He could. I, I don't give a fuck. He could die in the ring. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we got Roman Reigns. Yeah, next is Roman. Um, obviously his character. Uh, yeah, Sami I think Zane. Sami Zayn, his current, well, like you know, the one he had lost and then got back. That one, not the one where he was in the bloodline. Uh, Sun Post Escobar. His legato de Fantasma theme is his best one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was his name? What, what used to be his fucking name? Talking about scripts? Yeah. Reggie? Reggie. What about Reggie? Reggie? I don't even really recognize him. The guy who used to get his ass beat by woman. What about his scripts, guys? This man was a French acrobat. Now he's a <laughs> certified gangster. <laughs> <laughs> now he thinks he's like, he, he was calling uh, the performance center. I'm like, bro. We know it's you. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking, I was like, man, we know it's you. Stop calling. <laughs> like, like, you know why you gone. Seth Rollins. I like it. Pe- people He's like, people for whatever reason don't like his theme song now. I like it. I don't. Which one? Which one? Which one? I was trying He's to tell you one. because. His current one. No, which, which one do you like? Which one do you like? Ah, the one before that when he was the architect, the um, the architect or the messiah? The architect. So the one before the messiah. Yeah. Okay. That one. The one that he beat Triple H with. That's one. Yeah, when he cashed in the uh the case. <laughs> that one. Yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one, Brian. Uh, Seamus, obviously. It's a shame. Uh, yeah. They, they need to, to, they need to bring that, that back. back. Bring that back, please. Bring that back, please, y'all. If I hear, if if he comes back to that theme song, I am packing the fuck on. Yeah. Because, man. Uh, Shinsuke, I, that, believe it or not, okay? I may get a lot of disagreements right now, but I absolutely hate Shinsuke's theme song. Really? No, I really? absolutely hate it. I Even absolutely hate it. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. I don't like it. I like the one where he had the vocals. Mm-hmm. They were I they were all ass. I don't like them. Damn. He said no. No, no I, I would not be mad if they did for one for one night only the little Uzi Vert version. Uh they might. Uh, WrestleMania, you never know. Um, yeah, no. I'm thinking they probably will. If I think he was, Solo has had two theme songs. His current one is the best one. I don't even know what his other one sounds like. His current one is really good. I'm taking it all. Um, uh, who else? I believe Sonya's had three? I think I think Pride, Pride Fighter one. is the best one. That's the one I was like. like her current one, Pride Ooh. Fighter, that's the best one. Yeah. Also... Uh, oh, congratulations, Sonya Deville. She just got married recently. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah how about you return from your ACL, motherfucker? <laughs> Anyways, Damn. Uh, enjoy your marriage. Enjoy your honeymoon. You know, I know you love eating pussy. Uh, <laughs> you are hard. Oh, wow. Hey. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Stephanie McMahon has had some good ones too. Hold on. But not. I don't even see Stephanie on here. But yeah, you right. You right. She's also had. Pretty interesting campaigns. Uh, hey, Tamina, I don't even recognize any of her themes at this point. Uh, the Miz, right. the Miz, yes, I came to play, nigga. I came to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get this podcast demonetized. I need to stop. <laughs> um, yeah. like, oh. Tiffany Stratton I, just got a new one. I don't like it. I never even heard the first one. <laughs> when they when they got rid of the cameras flashing, that was it for me. I mean, you don't watch. I mean, I watch her. I mean, I didn't hit music. I, what do you be watching? Else, elsewhere. 
I feel bad but, for her for how Mia Shin, but when he when she slapped at her for no reason, I'm like Tiffany, come on, yo. She like, slapped the shit really? out of her too. Yeah, Just, I know, I was like, she wanted to slap her. What? <laughs> she can't slap. She can't slap. <laughs> She was just That's fighting with the angels, and she gave her that Charlie Murphy treatment. Like, what the fuck thing you say to the What's face? the problem? What's the problem with her smacking her? <laughs> she oh, needed to make a statement. True. I mean, hey, why not? I mean, Cena did the same thing to her. Anyways, The Rock, who was officially a SmackDown superstar, according to this. Oh, we skipped him. We, yeah, we skipped a lot. <laughs> Um, we left off at Tiffany Stratton. Tommaso Ciampa, I heard he's had a few. Oh, uh, yeah. Tommaso Ciampa, I was say, I like his older theme song, the Black, uh, Black Heart, uh, when he was in, um... Black and Gold and XP. Yeah. So that you, one, you that waited was the whole time like... <laughs> to say that. <laughs> yeah, because yes, we started with, at the very, song. at the very time, he was like, I'm going to go all the way to Ciampa. No, we just, <laughs> we're we not even at the we beach yet. <laughs> The thing is, is I that was not my theme song in 2K for like uh, the last two. Like I was like, when it was a theme song, I was like, oh yeah, I'm about to come out here on some devious shit and cause people madness and shit. Then we got Trick. Did Trick Williams have another one of his other than his current one? I don't know, but I know he was a security guard. I can tell you that. I remember um, that. I remember that. Triple H. Uh, my time. Really? Kings. Over the King of Kings and time in the game. My time. Now, I got, I got a question about Triple H, right? Because whenever he comes out, he comes out to either King of Kings or the game. Is there like? What, yeah. Is there what like? What determines that? Yeah, yeah. What determines which song it goes out to? Is it just a feeling, or is it like? Is there some deeper meaning or deeper pattern that we're not seeing here? Isn't it wrestler's choice, somewhat? Yeah, but when you got two that you can just like. I'm gonna go this one. Like usually, you like you get you get one and you move on to the next one, and then you get another move on to the next one. Well, but you're going back and forth between I mean, those two. I mean, Triple H has two he can come out to. He has the King of Kings, and he has the uh, time to play the game. Yeah, but we're, tra- we're asking gonna... what determines other than like it, I mean, it easily could have just be like I just feel like coming out to this song today, but I feel like. I feel like there's something we're Your missing here. Like, I feel like if it's corporate Triple H, then King of Kings has got to be up there. Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus will have... Oh, no. I think her, I think her face theme is the best one. Kind of rock and roll or something like that. Or I think it's I think it's called Stratisfaction. I think is what the song's called. Stratisfaction, yeah. Um, only person I can only I can really think of that had multiple themes on the rest of this list is Wade Barrett. Oh yeah. I'm afraid I got bad news. Yeah, when he <laughs> came out to God Save the Queen or something like that. That I wasn't feeling that. Um. Yeah, he's had, he's had multiple ones, most mostly because he's been in. He was in the Nexus. He was in the Core, whatever that was supposed to be. Um, I think I think his best one was when he was like that bare knuckle fighter for like toward the end of his in ring career. Yeah, I like I like the uh, the bad news bad on the most. He was a. Uh... He was a pretty interesting, interesting person. It was a pretty interesting gimmick. Mm. All right, we are past the two-hour mark. I want to wrap this up with Elimination Chamber predictions. We can do the other stuff we have next time. Okay. We got four matches on the card and a segment. I need your winners, and if you can even think of a finish, let me hear it. <clears throat> First up, we got the women's, and this is in no particular order, the women's elimination chamber. So, Becky Lynch, I, I see Becky winning that. Who takes the final pin? That's my question. 
I got Becky winning too. I got Becky winning. Liv, uh, this is my Liv's Liv taking, Liv, Liv, Liv Liv taking the last pin. Yeah, Liv's yeah. taking the last pin. I think yeah, yeah Becky taking the Liv Morgan's taking the first. Oh, taking the last pin. Um, yeah. Becky Lynch is winning that one. That's that's my prediction too. Because you know why people are they like um, what they said. What you said earlier, they're trying to get all the um, when um, the Liv Morgan fan fan club uh, wants to give her another yes movement. Mm-hmm. But they'll turn on her again. So, um, yeah, they'll probably have her as the last one eating the pin. Unfortunately, I think that, um, wait, who, wait, so it's Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan, Bianca Belair, Raquel Na- Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Naomi, and Tiffany Stratton. I think Naomi's eating the first pin. I, I say, yeah, Naomi gets eliminated first. I think That's it was. Up. <laughs> Stratton, by the way. I think. That's fucked up, yeah. I just want. I I need Tiffany Stratton to hit the 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 prettiest moonsault ever off of a pod, and I'll be just satisfied. Well, she she basically missed the the fucking first two that she already did. She'll she did she'll <laughs> she will correct herself. She's, I will. <laughs> she she almost killed Zelina last Friday with the yeah, damn. She almost, I think she I think she'll finally correct herself. Hopefully. <laughs> well, Charlotte, hopefully. Then we got the men's chamber. Uh, Drew McIntyre, uh, LA Knight is going to take the last one. Mm. Oh, man. I got Drew McIntyre. I don't think LA Knight's taking the last pin, though. No, I think it's got to be. Um... Who's in there? Uh, it's because uh, the Randy? participants. Yeah. Randy. It's Randy. Randy. No, I feel like you got to have Randy look strong, but I know. I think Randy, Randy takes the Randy, last pin. Randy takes the take last pin. Pen. Randy takes yeah. the last pin. Randy is. Randy has got enough to where a loss doesn't affect him one way or the other. Yeah. <clears> That's why I said think. LA Knight, because I don't think a loss will affect LA Knight right now either. I think LA Knight. Like, yeah, I don't no, think. I, I mean, LA Knight, to, for him to not win the match, he has to be pinned. But I don't think he's no. the last one. I think Logan Paul is the one to pin him. Yeah, or the, or that's, gonna start, who, that's gonna jump start that I actually think it's gonna be the other way around. Other way around, yeah, I think, yeah. Other way around. Ellen Knight pins Logan Paul. Yeah, I think that was on Friday that. saying I pinned you so I could take the title from you. Exactly. No, because I think Logan Paul does something to screw him. I think Logan Paul like use the brass knuckles again. And if it's elimination it's chamber, there's no there's no disqualification. How would he do that if he's eliminated? Um, they did that to Triple H in the elimination chamber in 2003 with Goldberg. That's 2003. <laughs> and it's 2024. Now hold on. What do you think? What do you think about when Shawn Michaels pulled up to the elimination chamber and cost Undertaker the he title? Was he was hating. He was hating. He was hating. <laughs> That's different. What Edge did the Kofi Kingston? Hating. That's different. Hello. Like, that's not gonna happen again. And if it does, then they just hate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good point. Good point. And then we got the uh, tag Irish team. Cha- the, which the, is, the, oh. the, hold on, I'll, I'll get there. Huh? The tag team championship between Judgment Day and I think they call the New Catch Republic now, or British oh, Strong Style. Yes. Yeah, they no, they the Strong Style. No, they they named themselves the New Catch Republic at the end, like toward like. The end of SmackDown last Friday. I don't know if it, they, I don't know no. if the name's gonna stick, but that's the one Tyler no. Bates came up with. No, no. They're, they're British strong style, and they will stay as British strong style. You could kiss, kiss my ass. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> British strong style. Name, yeah, they about to take the pin. They yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they change their name to that, they're losing within five minutes. Yeah, that is gonna be the shortest pay per view match in like the last year. I don't. Like, yeah, I, I think Judgment Day is retaining, and I, I, I definitely I'm need. That. I definitely need Awesome Truth to challenge them and win, and then be a transitional awesome champion. Truth to win, and it, to only to be a transitional champion, because the, there's so many oh, other good boy. tag teams. Storyline purposes that would make the most sense. Yes. Probably the Creeds or. Okay. Um, I would, I would, I would love to figure Creed. out what they want to do. The Creed titles, Street, they have to Street Profits. Um, like there's like there's a whole like 
I still say that they need to split the tag team division. They just been sitting there waiting. Tree poppers. They need to just they gotta smack do a something. nigga in the face. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Do something. And they're stuck in a six man feud with uh, Killer Cross in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. Or Final Testament, excuse me. They're Final Testament. Yeah. Cross. Carrying Killer Cross. Cross. <laughs> Cross. We call him his Carrying old Cross. fuck ass name. Okay. <laughs> Final Testament. Yeah. Dude, you know why? Final Testament. Final Testament. Because that's probably the last time. That, like, if. if if this fails, it's it for Karen Cross and AOP, and they're like they're out of there. Probably I don't think so. I don't think so. You think they're gonna go to AEW? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. You're, you're, you're pushing it with them. I don't think this is their last chance. I definitely think Karen Cross needs to be booked better, but that's a discussion for another time. We have I feel like I done it, until now. Hmm. Before we get to the what should be the main event of Saturday morning, um, we we have Cody Rhodes <laughs> and Seth Rollins on the Grayson Waller effect. What uh, are we thinking is going to happen here? <laughs> I think that they're going to somehow turn this into, oh, yeah, you know, you guys are facing... The Rock and Roman Reigns together on Saturday uh, for WrestleMania, and I would be like, "Oh boy, that's the main event of night one, guys. Have fun." Drew McIntyre winning doesn't mean shit. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I hope that's not the case. That means Seth is gonna wrestle two matches. And I think Cody is gonna wrestle two way. matches. Yeah, public. We don't. We have enough storylines and talent where we don't need wrestlers pulling double duty if they don't have to. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need them. No, yeah. What we need is people to talk shit. That's it. And have Solo attack one of them, or attack both of them, as like a warning shot, and then have The Rock continue to drop hints that he's gonna toss Roman, and that's a good second. And then we got Nia Jax versus Rhea Ripley. I think we all know that Rhea Ripley's going to win. We this all match. know who's going to win that. I think it's going to be Nia Jax. I think it's going to be. Oh, whoa. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm just saying, they'll pull it. They'll pull it off if they if they wanted to. That's some that's what? some losing, that's some cold losing shit. Your home, <laughs> losing your home country, like yes. On. I mean, we've yeah, seen it before. Done, done it before. Like, hey, look what they did to British Bulldog. They did it to Drew McIntyre. Yeah, true. They did it to Sami Zayn. Yeah. I would not be surprised. But nah, mommy's winning. Hopefully. Yeah, that'd be some cool shit. Um, I think that's going to be... I think it's going to be a good match, though. I don't think it's going to be a good match. I think it's going to be... It's not, I don't think it's going to be a technical match. I think it's going to beat the hell out of each other. What did Jim Ross used to say? A Only shoot knock. ugly match. <laughs> Only shoot ugly it's, it's going to be a slobber knocker for sure. Right. Oh, yeah. But please, is this the end of the feud for her and Nia? Or does, please. Uh, because how do you insert Jade in there? Because I, I still see Jade fighting Nia. SummerSlam. At WrestleMania. Uh, SummerSlam. Give it to me then, if you're yeah. going to do it at all. Yeah. Yeah, true. You got to no, build it just, up. Yeah, I don't that match either. But I figure if they're gonna get it over with, just get it over with now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So what? Nia versus Jade at WrestleMania night two? Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> no will, they, will they put Jade in a one on one that early though? No. Or will they do a triple threat with her and Raquel? Are we forgetting Bianca here? <laughs> big, big meaty women slapping meat. Yes. Big yeah. meaty. No comment on that. Um, <laughs> or we'll be. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure all of us are going to be fighting sleep demons watching this, but I will be up at five o'clock in the morning watching this. I will be seated. I will be up. I will do what I can to stay up. For, uh, I, I at this, what the way things have gone for me this week, I'm going to be up, but not by not because I want to, because I have to. Yeah, that is that. 
I'm definitely gonna have to fall asleep like immediately after SmackDown goes off the air just to get enough yeah. passable sleep. And then I, I got just, all the no, Saturdays. I'm, I'm just not going to watch SmackDown. I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Like, me. I, I, I become the old person. Where I'm like, I gotta fall asleep early. And I usually fall asleep at like seven o'clock. I should be sleep now, <laughs> motherfucker. But I'm on this podcast. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, dedicate the time to the people. Yeah, sure. But see, that's why yeah. I missed the VC chats because I'm like, man, I'm tired. And like, <laughs> like I don't want it back. It's not like old, but well, I'm the, like, I'm like ready to fall. Well, for these guys. For me, I was up there when the Women's World Cup was in Australia. I was up watching a good portion of the matches, so I'm trained mentally and physically to stay up for things like 5 in the morning. Ah, yeah. The pure after hour what, entertainment. What, and I'm not about to... Crack? <laughs> I don't know what type of crack you use to stay up because I, I can't do it. I can't Listen, do it no more. When I've worked overnight for 15 years of my life. That's, that. That'll do it to you. We all know he on that 14 grams. Life. He on that 14 grand? No. No, no, no. No 14 grand. This is pure adrenaline, pure pure Pepsi. Anything with caffeine? That's Pepsi it. Pepsi L. <laughs> oh, Pepsi, goodness, no. Wait, hold on, man. Not too much on Pepsi. Hey, listen. Pepsi? Hey, I live in the Pepsi. Coke capital of the world. I I, I have to. I, I, I swore allegiance to Coke when I moved down here. Coke capital of the world. You're not, uh, and you're, not Puerto Rican if, you're not Puerto Rican if you don't have two liters of Pepsi sitting in, on the outside and in inside of your fridge. Nah, I am a, I am a Sprite guy. That's a code product. <laughs> I'm Pepsi, but I will continue to be a Sprite guy. We have gone no, off the rails I, for far too long at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I, I work in a pizzeria, so the ironic thing for me when somebody asks for Coke, when I tell them, would you like a straw with your Coke? That flies right over their head. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that over my head right a little bit. Wow. Over their head. Would you like a straw with your Coke? <laughs> you know what? Crazy. I, call, I, I, uh, I call it, I dropped it like Nelson Aguilar, and then I picked it up. <laughs> I, 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 I got it. I'm a true man. I put, I tried Coke with Pepsi together. It's actually not that bad. Wait, so you've done coke before? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta wrap this up before we get too wait, crazy. I gotta wrap this up before wait, we get too crazy. To the, <laughs> the thoughts and opinions of those on this podcast are not reflect the others. I need to go to bed. Yo, oh my god. Yeah. This, this has been, been the Play Impossible Podcast. <laughs> this has been the Play Impossible Podcast. Yeah, I... Signing off for now. <laughs> yeah, I...